giving credit to the nameless. Tonight, a man born a slave freed and made a life for himself playing ball. Yeah, for more than 150 years, his burial spot went unmarked. Now his mark on history is carved in stone. Passion, life, and legacy finally properly honored. You know, Sylvester must have been important. Born in 1860, Sylvester Chauvin was the first son of Henrietta Mills and Charles Chauvin. He was born into slavery at St. Louis University, but after emancipation around 1865, he went on to become a musician like his younger brother. But Chauvin made a name for himself playing for the Negro baseball team in St. Louis. He was one of the uh, more important players. He became captain of the St. Louis Black Stockings um, in the early 1880s. He died in 1919 and was buried at St. Peter Cemetery in St. Louis in an unmarked grave. This is part of the reason why we want to start uh, a tradition of honoring our ancestors. Mr. Siobhan um, was, a, was a story that um, really, really gripped us. Yet his name didn't cement itself beyond the league. Every time we discover one and uh, honor a player with a grave marker, we, we discover two or three more. Um, that are unmarked. The Negro League's Grave Marker Project seeks out the final resting spots of its players and etches their names in stone. This is to honor Sylvester's life. Marking Chauvin's contributions to history <laughs> for generations past and those to come. Just to have that opportunity to come together uh, is amazing and we're very grateful. The Negro League's Grave Marker Project has been working the last 18 years. In that time, 50 grave sites have been marked with headstones. It's